Well, we got some holes done. <laughs> um, so we reamed the holes we had basically with 30 inch auger. So the holes are a little bit bigger than 30 inches. Um, should be about 48 inches deep. Now we got to go through and measure, double check, um, retouch up any holes that aren't deep enough. And we have one spot over here that I couldn't dig because there's uh, roots in the way. So I'll have to use the chainsaw to clean that up. Hey guys, Kelly's doing the hard part now. Let's go watch her work her magic with the tamper. flattening out the bottom and giving it some firmness so that we can pour concrete for the puddings. Nice work, Kelly. Thirty-two holes. Most of them are, are uh, 20 inch diameter. These ones are 30 inch diameter, actually 32. There's 12 of them. This is the hole where we're having some issues. We have uh, roots and something else going on over there. So we cut it with the chainsaw. Let me see if we can get it all out of there. One. This one wouldn't cut all the way, so I'm not sure what is going on. If it's something else. Oh, big shovel. that hole that he um, chainsawed that log and see if we can get to it now. Looks like it's working so that's good. be our last hole of the 12 that have to be that 30 or technically has to be 27 inches but obviously this auger is a 30 inch and it's probably making a little bit bigger holes at 30 inches. All right, guys hopefully you can see this okay but this is the um design of the shed and all the red marker is from the permit people so these holes here had to be um 
30 inches wide with 12 inch, which means 12 inches of cement. And then that had to be 27 inches um, diameter as well, which are those ones over there, these ones. So we're good to go. Last time it was Thor and Gamora. Now it's Gamora and Jade. Jade. She's just relaxing. She is a full-time outside cat pretty much. She's very smart and hates being inside. Right, Jade? All right, guys. Um, we did a line here and this hole here is off-centered. It's because there's a bunch of logs and stuff in the way. So we actually still have the skid loader because they didn't come pick it up. And uh, so we're gonna use it again to try to fix this hole. And then there's one on the other side that's a little crooked. So hopefully it works. You can see that stump right there. Alright guys, Curtis is in the hole. Hopefully he can get out. If not, I'm probably not going to help him get out. I'm just kidding. Just bury him alive. Hold that post. Forever? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty big. So he dug out that hole and now there's all this dirt that he couldn't get out so he's in there. Just kind of evening it out down there. Setting the batter board strings, we're gonna line up the holes and square up the entire building right now. And I'm just here as a helper. He doesn't give consent to video though, so too bad for him. I have a uh, attorney at law. What is it called? Um, you are sued. I'm what? What is that called? Power of attorney? He's over 50, so technically I am his legal guardian now. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I do. Sorry. Well, it's new. I just made it up. Follow it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you think we need another inch? Well, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Me. You can. This ain't hit me, so yeah. Damn it. There, oh. now you're close. Yeah, half inch. So, so far, holes are dug. We're ready to do cement, but first we gotta put the batter boards up and run strings, run lines, make sure we're, our holes are lined up and our building is square and here's what we got. If it's easier if you got a knot in that I can pull it this way. I still gotta hold the string thing? Yep. Yeah. All right, so there's the first corner strung second, third, and then the main building batter board in the fourth corner with the second main building batter board. Everything's square, everything's measured, holes are good. 
Now we're ready to do some cement. Ready, Kelly? Yay, go cement. Should be fun. Got the hose down here, extension cord, ready to mix it up. Let's go. Hey guys, we're uh, move the tractor over here because I don't have a pallet fork, so we're going to load these into the bucket of the tractor so we can just put them right where we want them to work with. They came in two full pallets. Uh, I don't know if we have enough, but we'll find out. Is that three bags already? That's two. That's two. I'm gonna mix some water and we'll see what happens. See how it works? Yeah. Did the dog take it? No, she's inside taking a nap. Shoot, then I can't blame it on my memory. Nope. Might have pink string? Yep. Okay. I can't actually see, so you're good, doing good. Tell me if I need to change anything. No. Nope. Coming. Ooh. Sorry. That's all I can get out. That's pretty much all of it. Now if I could find my oh, damn stick. All right, how long is your stick? All right, I'll help. Well, it looks pretty good. Should probably have a two by four anyways, because we're going to want to like slosh it a little, make it look level. Grab one. Should self level. Oh, here it is. Can't even buy one of these anymore. <laughs> Did you mark the sticker? Yep. You're not even eight inches. That's eight, that's full. Wow. How deep? You're only about six. Okay. That's eight. So three inches per bag. Well, that's perfect. You can purchase one of these on eBay. They're hard to find, but it's the original measuring stick. <laughs> I like it. That's good. This is the first hole with the concrete in it. My dad's doing it old-fashioned with a five-gallon pail. I'm putting the primer bolt down. <laughs> and I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> Curtis broke the magic stick. My dad says it's not under warranty. It's all over. We're done for the day. <laughs> yep. He said that is the new improved stick. It even has pokeballs written on it. Just kidding. Those are his fake levels. Do you see that? North, east, west, south. Wow. He's fancy. Measurements. Well, we're halfway done at this point. Um, we still have, let's see, a little over halfway. So, still have about a pallet of concrete to go through. And, uh, yeah, just keep on loading and mixing. <laughs> Alright, so 
we just finished up all the concrete, everything's hardened. We went down in a few of the holes and cleaned up some of the stuff around the edges where we were close. And uh, now for the poles. We're going to put the poles in this weekend, start framing it up, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.